What's up, Kyle? We're back after a pretty good weekend. Um, we were fairly flat on our, our challenge picks. I think we went two and two. Uh, I think we had a loss of about ten bucks, but we hit on our DraftKings lineups. Yeah, it was a, it was a close one, but we uh, we managed. I had to. <laughs> we got yeah, through. Yeah, I had to make another palm cross. I, I don't know if you can see. I got two behind <laughs> me. I had to make the first one last week uh, when Michigan was playing Florida State, and I had the under. I was at my dad's house for Palm Sunday dinner, and it was looking pretty iffy. And I was like made a palm cross and i was like oh jesus we need this under and then the leading scorer for florida state proceeds to snap his ankle (laughs) and then and i just looked at my fucking palm cross i was like oh boy this shit works here we go and then so i had to make another one yesterday i was uh in the hundred dollar double up i think for a while we were out of the money i was Going into Sunday, I think I was 22nd out of 44 in the top 20 places get paid mm-hmm. and had to send up a quick uh, quick prayer to the Lord of Light. <laughs> and I ended up finishing 20. So that's two for two on the palm crosses. All day, I wasn't worried about it because I was in the money all day in that double yeah. up. And then you texted me about the palm cross and I look at it and I was still in the money. But then it goes into the final hole, and somehow I fell out of the money. I was like 51st of 50 places paid. Yeah. Going into the last hole, and somehow he, he Charlie Hoffman, managed to, uh, I think he birdied the last hole or part it, whatever. He part it. Cause I was whatever he did, whatever he did, it, it, Got just enough points where I became 49th of 50 places paid. Yeah, I was I was two points in the money. Yeah. <laughs> Yep. Praise but him. It, but it, it, it paid off. Our picks weren't so bad, really. No, um, it's just opening day baseball was a, was a crapshoot. And then those were our only yeah. losses. And then uh, Cam Davis, to be the top Australian player, was easiest money ever. Mm-hmm. And that was easy. He fell apart player. on the last day, though. That's all right. He made the yeah. cut. <laughs> You're right, exactly. Yeah. And... Uh, and then, what else do we have? Our, our can't lose parlay. Of course, it didn't lose. We had one guy pull out. No, though. one guy pulled out. Yep, and uh, the rest all dominated. It was yeah. easy, yeah. easy win for the Bellator fights. Yeah. So I was looking at today's game uh, for Gonzaga versus Baylor, mm-hmm. and I was looking at the the public money chart, and the public money is all over. The over. I think it's like 75% on over. Okay. So I'm thinking the under's got to hit because both games went over. <laughs> what What is it right now? Uh, last I checked, it was right around 160. 160. Yeah, 160. Okay. So they got to score. But I think, I don't know. I can, I can see both teams trying to slow the game down a little bit. Uh, Gonzaga scores, though. They really do. Gonzaga scores. Baylor scores too, though. I know. It's iffy. It is, but that's that's why they they want you to take the over. You're right. They want you. Plus, unders were red hot for a while until the final four, and then both games went over. Um, and I mean, Gonzaga. The Gonzaga game only went over uh, because of overtime. I think it was right. If it ended in regulation, it was uh, it was would have gone under. But yeah, right now it is one fifty nine point five. So if both teams break eighty. It's over. It's over. Right. That's a tough over. I could I could see the under hitting that. That's it. That's a really. It's, co- it's college over. basketball. It's college basketball. It's college basketball. I could also see. Yeah. Gonzaga blowing Baylor out and you know winning like eighty to sixty, and then just dominating. Yeah. And but then Baylor's only chance is uh, if that kid Mitchell goes off again. Right. Yeah. See. See. They freaking destroyed Houston. Yeah. 
But Gonzaga is so deep. They have every so many people on their team score. So many people on their team play defense. They yeah. they're the best team. They've been the best team all year. Yeah, and Baylor, I think Baylor is ranked number two all year, but it hasn't really even been close. And they were supposed no. to play one other time uh, this year, and I think it got canceled due to COVID or something. They didn't play. Really? I know they were supposed to play. They didn't play. Right. So right, let me log in here and see uh, see some of these lines they got going on tonight. So it's four and a half point spread. Four and a half. I think yep. uh, I didn't – last I checked, that's that's a good number to take Gonzaga because it's still two possessions. Like if it were five and a half or – five and a half is still two. But like anything – like six to six and a half would be sketchy because that's – you yeah. got like three possessions. You know what trend I noticed has been hitting during this tournament? What's that? The the favorite, picking the favorite at half. So you hits. bet, you live bet the favorite at half? No, you just take the half, like right now, the so that, uh, at least on my uh, book, on DraftKings oh, so Sportsbook. Like, so like Gonzaga. Gonzaga minus three at half right now. And I noticed throughout the tournament that that, picking the favorite to be up at halftime has been hitting. Well, yeah, every time you texted me whatever Gonzaga spread at halftime, it's it's hit. Hundred yeah. like, literally five out of five times. Right. So I I definitely like that. That would be that'd be a good challenge pick. It would. So what is um, at halftime it's minus three and a half? Minus three. Minus oh do they let you do on – are you looking on DraftKings? Yeah. Do they let you do uh, money line first half? Yep. Yeah, That's minus 190. Game. Ooh. Uh, so I'm looking – That's not so bad. No. Minus on 190. Bovada, on Bovada, it's only minus two and a half. Ooh. That's going to – minus two and a half I think is going to have to be – that's going to have to be a fifty point or fifty dollar challenge play. So, what are we? Uh, how much money do we have in the challenge right now? So we are at two twenty two oh eight. Two twenty two oh eight in the challenge. Yeah, we lost ten dollars. Lost week, ten dollars or this past weekend. Okay. Um, I'm just keeping track of MMA picks separate, mm-hmm. just because. I wanted to see how we could do with just MMA as yeah. well. And MMA picks separate are up to three seventy nine ninety eight with uh with what I was able to get on DraftKings. Because remember that first day? Right. Uh, we the were, first, you, you got the you were not able to get the uh KO props. Yeah, you got O'Malley and uh Francis both by yeah. knockout parlay. Yeah. And what was what was that line? It was. Um, it had to have been over plus three hundred. Yeah, it was. It was Probably. around. It was around three hundred. Yeah. But I also uh, on that can't lose parlay. Yes. I put all the money on it. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I put there all of it. Well, I you it, couldn't it couldn't lose. lose. Yeah. You, you, yeah. You can't afford not to at that point. All right. All right so I was I'm confident in that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm locking in Baylor first half. And all right, so we have that. Should we go full game? I feel like we have to. It's national Full game, game. we have to have we have to have something on it. Uh do you want to take four and a half is a lot, I feel like. Ah, uh, but then with fouls and everything. Maybe it's not so much, you know. I can see it hitting. I can see it. I can see it being really tight and then hitting on fouls. Yeah, I say. Uh, I say we go. Um, so fifty on minus two and a half at the half. Twenty five okay. each on minus four and a half and under. Because the underplay is really, in my book, it's just a it's just a fade the public money play. 
because there's going to be a zillion people betting on this. Right. And squares squares are heavily on the over. Right. And Vegas does not tend to lose in prime time. You're right. That is like a fact. If, like, pretty much every time I checked uh, the public money, at least on football, primetime games when there's more than two thirds on on one side, it's the minority wins every single time. Especially yeah, primetime. Public is dumb always. Always. <laughs> yeah. Always. Okay. So. I like it. So we're doing fifty. Let's recap it real quick. Fifty on the half. Minus two and a half at the half, Gonzaga, and then twenty five on minus four and a half and twenty five on the under. Yes. And the under that I see right now is one fifty nine and a half. Correct. Okay. And so all right, twenty five. And then I found I did find a couple of interesting plays today for baseball. Uh, let's see. Let me pull this up. On on Baseball Reference, I was looking up earlier. The so the Red Sox are probably a bottom five team this year. Terrible in, in awful all of baseball. Their it lineup sucks. is <laughs> it sucks, they don't they it... don't score runs and they give up too many runs. Yeah, getting uh, rid of uh, Mookie Betts was a great idea. It was Only probably one of, the best one, of their, one of their top decisions of all time. If they're if they're trying for, <laughs> if they're trying to set the record for most games lost in the season. Yeah. Only one of the best players in baseball, it's okay. Uh, Just give them to the Dodgers too. God damn. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell? Give them to the Dodgers and have them immediately <laughs> win a World Series. Right. If yeah, if their goal was to sacrifice themselves <laughs> for the for the benefit of Mookie Betts, they crushed it. <laughs> right. Uh, so, I'm looking at the Red Sox are a soul. No. They are. Right now, a, I have it minus 108, a, minus 108. Pick them. Yep, pick them. Pick them. But you can yep. get the you, you get the Rays at minus one and a half. So, they're, even though it's a okay. pick them, they're still considered like the Boston favorite. Is, I, yeah. Boston is the plus one and a half here. Gotcha. And That's going to be at a at a minus if you take Boston plus. Right, Boston plus yeah. one and a half is minus one sixty five, and right. then the Rays are plus one forty five. I think the Rays uh, definitely don't lose this game. I like Michael it. Waka is not bad. He was not as good last year, but who was he on last year? Uh, He was on the uh, Cardinals for a while, and then let's see here. And then, he, yeah, he was on the Mets last year, but the Mets were a sh- not a very good team. Uh, right. So I feel like he probably wasn't trying as hard. <laughs> <laughs> probably not. No, there's, I like the it. Mets are, the Mets are like the worst effort team in baseball. Oh, yeah, for sure. They got DeGrom going tonight, though. Yeah, and that, that's their first uh, first game of the year because their series with Washington, I think, got canceled due to COVID. This it was year COVID, be, yep. It, it was, was COVID. COVID. <sighs> Trying to do, like, if a bunch of games get canceled or postponed, like, there's going to be teams playing doubleheaders for, like, all of August. Like if you're just yeah, this canceling, year. if you there's there's also there's so many fucking guys on each team, and they're not really. I mean, they they're trying to like do. You, you just can't quarantine that many people for that. No, long. you can't. Like people, right. people are gonna smash road broads. Yep, it's just it's gonna happen. It is. It's gonna happen in. Baseball, they're always spitting everywhere, and it... yeah, everyone's <laughs> just getting droplets all over everything. Everyone's spitting seeds and fucking dip and blowing, yeah. blowing bubbles with their fucking. 
<laughs> exactly. COVID, COVID bubble gum. <laughs> their sharing big sharing needles. Yeah. Sharing steroid needles. Every, everyone's shooting up in the locker room. <laughs> right. Uh, so I would go another 25 on because it's still early in the year. For baseball, it's, yeah, it's tough to pick these games with literally no data. Like the freaking uh, Baltimore Orioles are the division leaders right now. <laughs> it's is you know April baseball is is a pretty much a crapshoot. Uh, five, and then the other game I was looking at was the Cardinals uh, minus one hundred three. So they're slight dog. It's another really tight line um, against the Miami Marlins. And the guy they had, the Marlins have going last year, let me look up his ERA quick. It was well over six. It was, I think it was almost seven last year. Uh, Trevor Rogers. Yeah. He's pretty terrible. He's like 23 years old. I mean, he's he probably will be good in a couple of years, but you know, he's got like the the rookie uh, jitters. Right. We'll see. I don't. I just don't see in him being able to beat the the Cardinals. Who? Let me see. They are uh, Cardinals started. They're starting off slow, but you know they lost two out of three to the Reds who were pretty good last year. Uh, I know they got rid of their best pitcher in Trevor Bauer. He also went to the Dodgers. Why? Yeah, why not? Why not? Just just fortify right. the Dodgers dynasty. <laughs> right. Couldn't be a more likable team to be good. <laughs> yeah. It's just the Dodgers. The Yankees of the West. Yeah. All right, so those are my two for today um, twins are kicking the shit out of the tigers right now six nothing yeah. in the fourth I did see that they're uh, yeah live run line is minus six and a half I like it yeah <laughs> uh, uh. And then, have you started doing any uh, any preliminary research for the Masters? I have. I have started. What do you think so uh, far? So, right off the bat, before doing any research, I liked uh, DeChambeau to win. Um, yes. He's definitely going to be a popular pick. But with his length, it's such a shortcut. Right. He, he, he's he got to be one of the favorites. <clears throat> Jordan Spieth, he just won this week. Uh, he seems like he's back. Yeah. Um, the only he's thing, gonna though, be... with, with Spieth is, like, guys usually don't come out, like, super hot after they just tore it up the previous week. Oh, it's totally true, and uh, the totally public like knows that. that. People fade the winner of last week every, every week in golf. Yeah, uh, yeah. But you got to think Spieth had had to think of that Valero Texas Open as warm up for the Masters. So, uh, other guys I like, obviously Justin Thomas. I like him every week. He's my favorite golfer, so always got to take him. Guys that nobody are really thinking of. I like Joaquin Neiman, a young kid, hits the ball a mile, can score. Like him, Uh, another. None of these are going to be crazy picks out there, but Corey Connors, uh, another yep. guy. Uh, sitting sitting at plus 10,000 right now. Corey Connors is a guy I like. Yeah. But he uh, could I think, be absolutely in the mix. And then there's old-timers that I like who no one's thinking of. Mark Leishman. I saw he's in the field. Uh, he I plays heard that I, name in a long time. He plays Augusta well every year. I like yeah. uh, Mark Leishman. Kevin Na. Kevin Nye, after the uh, the little narrative with him and DJ not getting along at the match play, uh, mm-hmm. would be hilarious if he won just to see uh, DJ yes. put the code on him. 
Yeah. Uh, so that would be freaking hilarious. And then uh, the boomer bust man himself, Siwoo Kim, tends to play pretty decent at the Masters. And know who Siwoo, else is playing? Siwoo did all right for us. Yeah. Uh, Siwoo's great. Yeah. Yeah. He's a good golfer. Uh, you know who else is playing really well, good at golf right now? Is Sergio Garcia. He's just golfing real well right now, and he plays well at the Masters. He, yeah. I feel like yeah. the last probably four or five years, he's always, well, he makes the cut every time, pretty much. Yeah. Yep. And except for, was it last year or two years ago where he got like a 15? When he just kept the, hitting it into the water? Yeah. 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 Except for that. Well, <laughs> that was like. Uh, what was it? That time two, got it, two, three got it. years ago now, when Molinari hit the ball in the water three times, and then he he forgot how to play golf from then on. He still is still isn't the same. Yeah, I think <clears> that was when Tiger won. I think that was yeah, like twenty nineteen when they were like mm-hmm. going at it. Yeah, and Xander ended up coming in second that year. Yeah, um, I always like Xander too. Another guy I like. Uh, in the biggest Masters news, we didn't even talk about um, Brooks Kepka is playing. He, yeah. with, with the knee injury. So people were saying he was going to be out six to eight months. Uh, he came out and said he is going to play in the Masters and believes he can win. So He's sitting at plus 2,500 right now. So he's, <laughs> you, he's, you know he's he was within, just like, fuck you, pussy golfers. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, play real sports. He's, yeah. I'm a hockey he's, player. <laughs> right, just playing golf today. <laughs> right. But uh, he just got engaged too, uh, so that that's the big news. And another big news was John Rahm, uh, who said last week to not pick him in the Masters because he might withdraw because his his wife is due with the baby. She had the baby this week. Okay. Um, so, so, so he's back on. So he should be he should be fine. Which that narrative of the baby might be a reason to take him now in DraftKings. If people aren't up on their news, they might be staying right. off ROM. Right. Um, so that could be a decent angle there. But, yeah, there's definitely some guys in DraftKings. You can make some interesting lineups. I was playing with it today, and I was yeah. playing with, like, what contest we should enter. I think I'm just going to do another $100 double up uh, for the Masters. And, and then, then save another 100 for uh... – for UFC this weekend, yeah, and I, I gotta throw I gotta throw ten dollars in the uh, dri- uh, millionaire maker in the Millie maker for uh, yes, but I saw they had some they had some crazy contests oh, yeah. where they had, it was a multi entry million dollars to first mm-hmm. you could do eighteen entries max the buy in is forty four forty four. <laughs> Four thousand four hundred and forty-four dollars. Jesus. So you could, you could potentially throw like eighty grand in, right, to win a hun- to win a million, to win a million. That's well, pretty good, well, but uh, I would be just searching Google Maps for tall bridges if Sunday Sunday afternoon I'm out of the money <laughs> and down eighty k. Well. What? Once we keep winning these double ups, we'll enter some crazy shit like yeah, that. Yeah, we'll have to do a, a forty four hundred or the uh, that five thousand four hundred Thunderdome. Oh, yeah, that's nuts. But yeah, once we uh, we, all we need to win is a couple more weeks to enter something pretty cool like that. Right. Just keep so. hammering the double ups. Yep. It's not a, it's not about the sexy million dollar ones. You just got to right. double bucks it up, every week. double it up, and uh. By uh, Friday, we're doing the MMA pod on Friday. Yeah, um, we'll lock in the Masters lineups tomorrow. Yep, Masters uh, breakdown, full breakdown tomorrow. More detail. Um, MMA Friday for the UFC card. We'll break down the whole card. We'll also break down DraftKings. The DraftKings uh, pricing for that card is not even out yet. Right. Um, it should. It, they usually do come out Monday, uh, but. It's, hasn't been out yet, so I'm on the lookout for it always. Yeah. Yep. All right. 